I am comfortable in saying no one knows for sure what the sun will do next. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents the strange minimal solar maximum that is double peaked. We're watching the heavens for signs. Because it's what we like to do. It's been a very active, very strange solar maximum. I'll be candidly candid with a ham hock solar. That's crazy. I have to zoom that in. Check that out. And up here's wild as well. Welcome to the 1000th edition, asterisk, of the very strange double peaked minimal solar maximum that was really weird. 2014, middle of November edition. We got giant sunspot. Our old friend, 1929-2198-2192. I don't know, I forget. I'm bad with numbers. Rolling back around. We got cameras going up and down. Everything is normal in crazy town. And I'm so happy to see you around. And this is the Wii camera. Wee! And then fly a space duck. Hello, space duck. Core one is like, I'm the neglected camera. Nobody ever watches me because of all the sun algae that's on the lens. So you can't really see anything. We still got love for you, stereo head core one. One rock. That's core one backwards. I had a dream. Cher was up in my face going, Do you believe in love? And I was like, How the hell did you get my dream if you don't know the answer to that damn question? And she goes, I really don't think you're strong enough. No. I was like, you better get out or I'm not going to buy you donuts. Look how massive that filament is. That thing is huge, enormous, giant, crazy face-ish. For sure. I mean, what science words can you use for that? It's like the sun is pretending to be Indiana Jones and the bullwhip. I mean, that looks super wild. Man, now I want to get donuts. Okay. We're taking a look at the sun on the stereo ahead, Core 2, from October 25th to now. The super crazy period, if you will. And is it just me, or does the sun kind of look like a giant lava lamp clock spinning around? Whose time is the sun telling? That is what I would like to know. That is a giant chunk of sun. The sun is a giver. It's like, here, take my plasma. I don't need it anymore. The other day, I got called boring, and I said, thank you, ma'am. No, that's true. Yeah, the loop is kind of hanging. The sun looks, feels, sounds like it's in a good mood. And the giant loop is super loopy. It's fruit looping around. Yeah, so a giant sunspot that's coming back around, it's like it's weaving a sweater of solar loops for holiday season. You got it? You got me. Sweet. Wow. These ones are splendid indeed. Look at that blow wave. It's like a whew, Right there. That is crazy. And then she was like, I'm going to harp your brains out. And I was like, I thought they shut harp down, ma'am. Well, the good news is we've got a coronal mass ejection from the sun. Looks like it's headed straight up. No danger to Earth, I wouldn't imagine. But it does look like a large mass. It came from the corona of matter. Plasma! It kind of looks like the baby fetus from 2001. And what's going on over here with this perfect cylinder shape that keeps moving? It's like, hey man, don't mind me. The, the one on the right is pretty trippy, huh? Crazy, man. No danger, just fun visuals. How do you feel about cake? I like cake. Cake likes me. To the left, this is Venus. And this is Saturn, and this little white circle is the sun. You might be saying to yourself, why is Venus just as big as the sun? It's so much bigger than Saturn. Well, it's all a matter of perspective, I guess, right? Seriously, that one to the right is trippy. It's like a giant cone surrounded by a giant cylinder that stays in shape and form the whole time. And then over here, we got a little gremlin doing his little gremlin sun dance. Oh, look at that. Multiple gremlins, multiple dancing. It's got to be a good sign, right? There's one up here. Like, hey, dude. 
Does the sun have auroras? This is the dance floor that looks the most poppin'. It must have the DJ with the most fat beats dropping. Just like that. Boom. Pop.